Hello and good morning, Phil Thatch, and I'm here with Heather, and we're at Blythe Ferry, which is a place that used to cross the Tennessee River. This was a ferry landing before they built that bridge down there. That's the Highway 60 bridge. And this is a really good place to do uh, wildlife type stuff. This is near the confluence of the Hiawassee River and the Tennessee River. The Hiawassee River spills into the Tennessee just over that way, and there's an island. It, it kind of formed a delta, and there's, so there's, a, there's a, some islands at the confluence, and that entire area is a wildlife refuge. This time of year, sandhill cranes come up here, and uh, so they close that area off. You can go, we've, we've gone around that area in a boat. You have to stay in the channel, and you can see sandhill cranes, but the bird that we like even better than sandhill cranes that comes here this time of year are American white pelicans. And uh, I sold the boat, so we won't be going out on the water, but we're coming here to this spot. And we, I don't know if we're gonna stay here or go someplace else, but our good buddy, Ron Durant, who has a YouTube channel you should check out, told us that uh, American white pelicans had been seen here at the west side of the Tennessee River. So we came down and we, we've only been here a little while. We saw a kingfisher and we saw one pelican up close, but not close enough to get a really good picture and way in the distance, probably several hundred yards, there's some pelicans that way and that way. And we saw way down there, probably on the other side of the Highway 60 bridge, we saw quite a few. So we're gonna hang out here and see what else we can find. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and show you the pictures that we made prior to making this video clip. Check Heather out, she's, she's got herself a, uh, a seat and she's got her Z50 and the 50 to 250, no, not the 50 to 250, the 200 to 500, sorry, it's kind of early. And uh, I'm shooting with my Canon R6 and the 800 F11. I have my 100 to 500 as well uh, with me, but so far I'm using the 800 F11. And I'm vlogging with the Nikon ZFC this morning. Here is the belted kingfisher that was in the tree there right beside the road. This is my photograph of it uh, at 800 millimeters on the 800 millimeter prime and look at all that fishing line the next time we go there I didn't even notice the fishing line when I was looking at these photos on the back of the camera This is Heather's shot of the same female belted kingfisher But the next time we go there, we're going to try to get all of that fishing line down now This is the one pelican that was swimming around near the uh, Blythe Ferry area and I managed to get this one shot and then it started swimming away we are still hanging around here. Heather is stationary in her spot. And uh, as usual, I'm wandering around all over the place. I chased a, a, a little bluebird up and around. And we just saw, I was way back here and there were six or seven pelicans flying by and I hollered at Heather and pointed them out to her and she made a few shots. They were way away, but she might've got a good one. And we're thinking that Ron's gonna come uh, down here sometime this morning. As a matter of fact, that may be him coming down the road. I believe it is. There he is. The Just the big ones and the little ones. <laughs> this is an Eastern Bluebird, and this is a female Eastern Bluebird, and she was on the fishing pier, which is kind of on the left side of the Blythe Ferry area. And, you know, I wasn't able to get any anywhere near close enough to her to have her fill the frame, but I loved the golden hour light on her, so I shared these two small in the frame photos with you. And here is a ring-billed gull. Now, a lot of people frown upon uh, seagull photography, but I think the ring-billed gull is a beautiful bird and I enjoy photographing them. Well, things are warming up a little bit. We got Ron Durant has shown up. Check him out. He is using, uh, do you have it in your hand? Yeah, right here. Look at this thing. This is the, this is the 500 PF and it is amazingly tiny. But it's, it's deceivingly big. It's about the same size as a 70 to 200. It's completely amazing. It's smaller in length than the 200 to 500 that Heather's using when it's zoomed all the way back to 200. But anyway, Ron got here and, uh, and then several times we've had the American white pelicans fly over us in groups as small as two and as many as seven or eight, uh, maybe even more than that. And we've made a few shots. The sun is kind of is coming from over there so when they fly by, I'll run all the way down to the end of the boat ramp to, um, to try to get 
the, a good sun angle on them. And anyway, maybe some of them will turn out okay. Let's take a look. All right, this is Heather's photograph of one of the American white pelicans. And Heather and I both were using too slow of a shutter speed. We haven't done bird in flight photography in a little while and we were using a little bit too slow of a shutter speed. Look at all these beautiful little deer. They were There's kind of an island-ish area near the, the Blythe Ferry and there they were and I made a shot of them real quick. Here is another one of Heather's shots. This is two American white pelicans that flew right over us. Now Heather was sitting in a chair so she couldn't run over and get a better sun angle. Here is, uh, these are great egret. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this shot. And there were two or three more below this. And I thought it was interesting to see that many great egret in one place in Tennessee. Here's Heather's shot. This is kind of a rule of odds shot of some pelicans that flew right over us. And we were thrilled that they did not go to the bathroom as they flew over. Here's my photograph. This is a pair of American white pelicans as they flew over us. They, they did fly straight over us, but with the 800 millimeter lens, I couldn't get them in the frame. And look at this. This is Heather's shot of one American white pelican. This is only 210 millimeters. It's nice to have a zoom lens in situations when one of these big birds flies right over you. And here are a pair of American white pelicans that I photographed. This is one of the ones where I ran to the edge of the dock so I could get good sun angle on them. And I thought this shot came out really nice. Heather got a really good ring build gull in flight photograph. I was really impressed with this. It's a little bit more difficult with that Nikon Z50 to catch birds in flight with busy backgrounds. And this is probably my favorite photograph, even though it's just a single American white pelican. I like the way this one turned out and I think I'll use this one as the thumbnail. Now here is that same female belted kingfisher, but now she's fishing on the side of the roadway of Blythe Ferry there on some rocks. And I like the reflective background in this shot. Activity's gotten a little slow for a little while, so I shifted gears. I was really liking this reflection straight across. So I got the 100 to 500 out and I put a, uh, put a 10 stop neutral density on the front and made a couple of 15 second shots looking across. Maybe one of them will turn out okay. Here is the photograph with the 10 stop neutral density filter using the 100 to 500 at 100 millimeters. Look at the beautiful reflection. I thought the fall color was nice and I think in one of the trees there might be a bald eagle. So that was pretty cool. Here is another one of my favorite birds to photograph, the ring billed gull. I love to shoot them. They have beautiful eyes and I like the way this shot came out quite a bit. Now Heather got some sandhill cranes. We were going to go see sandhill cranes a little bit later at another location, but Heather got some sandhill cranes landing with their wings in the orchestra conductor position right there at Blythe Ferry. And I made another ring billed gull photograph. This gull was doing some fishing nearby and I did get a photograph of it with a fish in its mouth but it didn't come out anywhere near as good as this one. Okay so we left the area at Blythe Ferry where we had had a nice morning of photography and we came to another location and I got so much stuff from the next location that it needed to be broken up into two videos so so it's going to be goodbye for now thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the content and as always, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. And make sure to check out a video coming soon from this location, the Hiawassee Wildlife Refuge. Bye-bye.